Hello, this is Kyle with Boots on the Ground. And today we're going to be looking at the Red Wing Irish Setter. Um, I believe these are the Wing Shooter 807 style. And uh, to be honest with you, these are probably my favorite uh, hunting boots of all time. I've had a lot of different pairs. I've had LL Beans, I've had Lacrosse, I've had Rockies, I've had uh, pretty much almost every brand there is, but these um, Irish Setters have been my favorite. This is probably my fourth pair. This specific pair, I've worn these probably, I mean, you can tell I've beat the daylights out of them. I've been through multiple deer seasons. I know these are a, a bird shooting um, boot, such as dove hunts. I've been on, you know, three dove shoots with them. I have... Uh, gone you know squirrel hunting with them any kind of hunting you can think of, i've been through but um you can see they're really beat up i've probably beat them up the most bass fishing with my buddy uh, we used to fish this sandbar and uh, had a little creek running through it and we'd walk out to that sandbar and these things would just be fully submerged and th these are really good boots um the waterproof membrane that they have on them it has the tag here that they're waterproof yeah, they, they really are. Um, they're waterproof all the way up to right there where it's gusseted. And you can go up to, you know, almost here and be comfortable. I was bass fishing and throwing a fly rod and catching bluegills and then putting them on a bobber, catching, you know, five, six, seven pound bass on them. So we're out there all day, but really got a lot of nicks and bangs. And they, you know, I'll just give you all a close up. You can see how bad they're beat up and dried out and, you know, Anyways, this is more of a restoration video than a review. You can find a lot of information on these online, but um, so that's kind of the before. And then I've decided to to clean this one up, and I'll hold them up so you can see the difference. So right there, that's the before and after. And then I'll kind of rotate them, let you see that. You can see the back. And then on the inside of the boot, you can see that. So I'll put the dirty one away for now and I'll kind of explain to you what I do. So this is the boot I cleaned up. Obviously, I'm going to do that one too. And I started off um, with a, a pan and some water and I believe um, some dish soap. And then I just got a, a toilet brush here and some hot water. And we'll put this aside. But anyways... I brush the daylights out of them, especially here on the Goodyear welt where it's welted in the in the sole and got all that mud off. And then I used a sponge to really kind of, you know, fine tune that and worked at that. I'll probably set it 30 minutes and let that dry real good. And then on the upper, I used the sponge too and the, the dish soap. And then of course you rinse them off real good, let them dry off. And then after that, um, well, I'll be honest with you, before I did all that, I used a horsehair brush just to get all the loose dirt out of the welt and sand and whatnot. Then I did that. And this is what I normally do with most of my boots, this process. So after that, um, I used the all natural leather conditioner by Red Wing. And this is a good product, especially, I mean, you see how dried out this boot got and stuff. So this kind of brings back some of that color and helps with some of the scuffs and stuff and it has the pine pitch and the mink oil and the beeswax which are really kind of dark in the leather and return it to its original uh, color and that is about the original color of the boot when I got it. it I'll be honest with you as bad as this was beat up I'm I'm impressed with how good it turned out so I rub this in with my hands um, I simply just you know open this up and I use and you know you just lather it up and kind of get it on your fingers and apply it and rub it in real good buff that in and apply a real good coat of that and i let that sit i don't know 30 to 45 minutes until it kind of dried out and then i came back with another one of my favorite products the big four and uh it's, it's kind of like a, it says it will not darken leather and stuff and it doesn't i use this on my iron rangers all the time but i applied some of this after the conditioner and it just kind of cleans it and put, polishes it and protects it. And uh, 
when I put this on, it kind of made the leather a little bit milky, and I brush out in real good with that, just kind of, you know, back and forth, and that gave it that sheen, and then I let that completely dry, and uh, I'd say I let that dry for an hour or two, and uh, the boot looked good at that point, but I finished it off with uh, Lexaw, and this is Neat's Foot Leather Dressing and that just to kind of protect the leather. This comes out like a liquid. Now with this stuff, it kind of smells funky, um, but as it dries and it, it's done dry, the boot actually, I know it looks wet, but to the touch, it's not. It, it, I mean, it's dry and the leather's real supple. And uh, yeah, it doesn't smell bad anymore at all or anything. And uh, so that's what I did to get these boots looking the way they did. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And uh, this one turned out good enough to wear instead of I wasn't going to throw them away anyways, I'll still wear them fishing and stuff, but I'm going to end up doing this one, you know, right after this video. So, uh, these have been one of my favorite pairs of boots, and I'll probably buy another pair of these. And I got these in a ten and a half because, uh, like I said, I deer hunt with these boots all the time, and they're not real warm, but they're waterproof, so I'll wear like a, a, a few extra pairs of socks, and um, as far as, like, they don't... Yeah, they don't even smell too bad on the inside, especially for how many seasons I've worn them. They do have a, uh, I believe, a uh, like a, a liner on the inside there too. You can see it has a hill pad and the Irish Setter brand there. But anyways, these are uh, made in China and for a Chinese boot and you know any kind of boot in general, they're really good. So that's what I got to say about the Irish Setter uh, wing shooter 807 and I'll give you another close up on the before and after so that's the after and how good it looks and that was the before you know it banged up pretty bad I'll be honest with you this one here was even worse than that one so if y'all like what you see be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll post some more content like this if y'all like it let me know down in the comments what you think and what do y'all do for cleaning your boots and what's your process? I'd like to hear. So anyways, y'all take it easy. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. See y'all.